We are now being joined by Georgie Karakanyan. Yee yee. Georgie, uh, first off for me, uh, you're, you're one of the longest tenured fighters uh, in Bellator, and you've been a part of a lot of big events. Where do you think this one stacks up? Does this have the big event feels for you? Uh, yeah, you know, it's just the tournament finale. I'm here. I fought both guys. Uh, I'm excited to be on this card. It's a stacked card. Uh, you know, I have a tough opponent, so uh, yeah, I feel excited. We're going to talk about your fight, but weigh in on that since you brought it up. Uh, you're, you're, you and Pat Karn, I think, are the only two guys to have been in there with both men. So uh, give me a little bit of analysis. Who do, you, who do you think wins and kind of break it down? Well, I think my fight with AJ wasn't long enough, so I don't consider it as a fight. But uh, with, uh, with Patricio, you know, I've been in there with them almost 15 minutes. Uh, if AJ wins, it's going to be fast, like TK or KO. But if he goes after over second, third round, I'm picking Patricio. And he's very experienced, and uh, yeah, it's going to be a good one. Yeah, no doubt, man. And uh, your fight, let's talk about it a little bit. Uh, you've done well against Irish fighters in the past. You kind of you <laughs> like uh, that they paired you up with another one? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I have uh, Kiefer Crosby. Uh, uh, before this, I fought Paul Redman in Ireland. So I had there's another Irish guy in, in my list. It's Peter Quilly. So uh, I don't know if he's going to get that rematch with uh, Patricky, but I would like to fight him. I know there's going to be a lot of shows in Europe, so I don't mind traveling to their home country and fighting him. What do you like about that fight? Uh, me against Peter Quilly. I uh, just he, he's a great fighter. I think we match up really good with against each other, and he's a ranked opponent. So yeah, those are the ones I want. Here, Georgie, right here. Uh, it's been a while since Bellator has been in front of a crowd that's going to be as big as you're going to have on Saturday. Is the mood different knowing that it's going to be the first time in a while that the fans are going to be out in force cheering for all the action? Fuck yeah. You know, I, was, I, I fought in uh, um, Connecticut uh, twice. And me as a fighter, I don't, it doesn't matter, but it does excite you when you throw a couple of punches, the fans make noise. So it's, it's exciting, you know? I know you're a SoCal guy. Do you have a lot of people who are going to be coming out for the fight? I do. I have. Uh, it's going to be a lot, a lot, a lot of people coming. So uh, I don't know the amount of people are going to come, but I have good support here. Thank you. Georgie, being such a tenured fighter, how do you intend on keeping that momentum going through this fight? Being a what fighter? Just being the you know the longevity you have with the with Bellator. Yeah, just use my experience. You know, I'm a, I'm a vet. I this is my 18th fight with Bellator. Uh, I have over 40 professional fights. Uh, it's up to me where I take the fight. You know, it uh, this matchup with Kiefer is perfect. It's a perfect matchup. Uh, he has 10 fights total. Uh, I should be able to take this anywhere I want. You know, and. Uh, Saturday night comes, uh, I'm going to do that. Very nice. Good morning, Georgie. How are you? Good morning, brother. Nice to see you. You look nice very well you. indeed. Very <laughs> handsome. Um, presumably, you know, given Kiefer's last performances, you know, he, he had a very tough night in Milan against um, Charlie, didn't Charlie he? Charlie Yeah, yeah. Um, where he got overwhelmed early on and couldn't recover. Presumably, the ground in this fight is you are so far superior in the ground game that you can take it there, really, and finish it early if you want to. That's true, but I would like to keep it standing. Give us a fucking war, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He comes forward, I come forward. Uh, I think that fight with Charlie Leroy was a great fight. If it didn't hear that cut, I think that stopped. But uh, it was a great fight. It just uh, the difference with me is uh, if I smell him getting tired, I'm f for sure going for a kill, and it just that's. Me as a vet, I seen those. So if, if if I smell that, it's over. Would you like to come to? You know they've announced October the first in London. Yeah, you're nodding with MVP and Douglas Freeman. We'd love to have you over there. Are you thinking that you'd like to get on the London card? Yeah, yeah, I would like to be on a London card. Uh, I fought in Ireland, man. That the crowd was crazy. Mm. So I know in London, uh, in London, I sh actually there's a kid, uh, Alfie Davies, call oh, yeah. me, a, call me dwarf head, big head, and I, I do, I, I do have a big head, but. I think that'll be a good matchup too against him. So yeah. So you'll be calling out Alfie Davis for London if you get the victory on Saturday night, yeah? Sure, sure, hundred percent. Lovely. Let's, Thank let's you. make that happen. Great to see you. <laughs>
I've got a different question for you. Um, the, the news right now in sports is uh, Simone Biles withdrawing from the Olympics due to mental health issues. I'm curious as a professional athlete, what are your thoughts on that? Is that something you've ever felt? Do you, do you understand why she did that? Or have you even heard about it? I did hear about it. And uh, uh, Team Grover, he was Michael Jordan's uh, coach. He posted something really interesting that I kind of support his opinion about Simon Bice. Uh I personally don't know what happened to her, but in, in my opinion, if you won six gold medals, nothing should bother you. You should have just, I don't know why she went over there. She could have given that spot to someone else, but that's just my opinion. And um, a lot of people are protecting her decision, but to me, that's bullshit. As, as a, it's like me, the sport is very stressful. You gotta fucking deal with that, especially in the Olympics. So for her to come out and talk like that, just I don't take it the right way. Thank you. Georgie, a lot of guys had a long layoff due to COVID. However, you did have those two fights during that period. So what made you decide to A, stay active and how do you think that benefited you? Uh, just not let anything bother, you know, just the news puts a lot of bullshit out there with especially with the COVID stuff just fight you know it's uh it's last year was a great year you know I had I was busy I fought three times and it was just one of those experiences I wanted to fight with no crowd I wanted to fight with going through testing I want to fight being stuck in a hotel room and it was just like a jail <laughs> just doing a lot of burpees and stuff like that but it was a, it was good times and now, obviously, we already mentioned the fact that we're going to have crowds, but you had the experience fighting without crowds. So now, is there anything from that you kind of might miss heading into this fight with an actual audience? Or do you just like, no, I got to get into this with the people? I guess the only thing I'll miss is hearing my opponent's coaches, because that's what I would do a lot. So whatever, whatever they would tell my opponent, I would do to my opponent. But now with the crowd, it's, it might be a little hard, but it doesn't matter. It's the same mission. Whoever's in front of me, I'm there to kill him. And my last question is, you know, somebody already mentioned the fact that, you know, you've, this is definitely not your first rodeo. You have lots of years underneath your belt. So with that being said, what keeps you motivated and moving forward to continue, you know, fighting in your career and all of that? Uh, just the hunger, you know, uh, when you have a fighter that's hungry, it's, it's a scary thing, you know, uh, for example, like TJ, TJ hasn't fought in two years and he still has the hunger. He came and destroyed a guy. But I have, I have a very, very strong hunger. Uh, it's not like, uh, I mean, this is what I do for a living. I have kids, but it's just something within me. I, I have a strong hunger and desire to knock people out. And as long as I have that, I'm going to keep fighting. Thank you, Georgie. All right. Thanks for the time, Georgie.